to TV International. I'm Patti De Bonitas. Um, I'm, I'm Faribor Spuya. As you know, in the last few weeks, we've been running a theme on Jamal Sabri, an Iranian opposition activist in, in Japan who has been detained by the Japanese uh, authorities uh, based on his immigration issues. Uh, there's been global activity for and campaign for uh, his release. Uh, many international organizations have actually condemned his uh, detention and have demanded the Japanese government to uh, uh, set them free immediately. Um, on 31st of March, uh, there was Global Day of Action in uh, conjunction with the UN representative on refugees' visit to, to Japan. Um, Patty, uh, uh, briefly sort of uh, tell us what's, hap what's happened, what was the uh, situation just prior to this, and then we'll go back and in a moment and go and uh, watch a video, a brief video, a clip from uh, uh, Patty's speech uh, uh, in front of the Japanese embassy. But briefly just tell us, you know, s summarize what's happened up to now. Um, what we have is Jamal being detained. We have said he, um, that in many places we have already been to embassies, that there has not, uh, Japanese embassies around the world, there has been nothing forthcoming really from the um, Japanese uh, authorities. What we got from the um, first secretary in the UK was that they uh, that the Japanese um, immigration authorities see no compelling reason not to deport Jamal, which I think is an outrage. Um, and so we and we sent a special representative from the federation from the Free Jamal campaign to Japan, Fashad Hussein, is, who is in. Um, Japan right now and we organized uh, a global day of protest and we organized this uh, global day of protest uh, to coincide with uh, Jorge Bustamante who is the UN special rapporteur on human rights of migrant it was his first visit to Japan to report on the human rights situation there of migrants and um, as we will hear later uh, with quite uh, uh, and, good results and this so is very important because Japanese government have outrageous immigration policy. Just bear with us, we're going to watch a, a, a brief uh, video of uh, a number of people who actually demonstrated in front of the Japanese embassy in London as part of a global day of action and Patty is featuring this video. We are Let's saying to the Japanese government, how dare you deporting an Iranian activist who has been living in Japan for 20 years, who is an asylum seeker in Japan, how do you dare deporting him? For 18 years he has been very public and outspoken against the Islamic regime of Iran. And now Japan is trying to deport this man to Iran. He is saying this is his death sentence. Japan, by deporting, is complicit in anything that happens to him. Japan must protect its refugees. Japan, you have a duty to protect Jamal Sabri. He's in your country. You have a duty to protect his life. It is illegal to deport anyone whose life is in danger where you deport him to. Somebody who has been active for 18 years against the Islamic Republic of Iran. What do you think is going to happen to him in Japan, in Iran, huh? Right now, a 20-year-old boy in Iran is facing death penalty because he dared to come out in a silent and peaceful protest. He came out and now he sits in a prison in Iran and he's awaiting imminent execution. Two men were executed in January because they came out in peaceful protest. So somebody who has done this for 18 years, what do you think is going to happen to him in Iran? Japan, deportation to Iran, it's execution by Japan. We're asking you not to deport Jamal Sabari. We're asking you, you have a duty under international law and the human rights laws to protect the refugees in your country. Don't deport him. Release him from detention. Japanese government must stop deporting Jamal to Iran. Japanese government have arrested an Iranian activist with intention of deporting him to Iran. Deporting Jamal Sabri to Iran is execution by Japan. Japanese government must stop this. Jamal Sabri has the right to stay in Japan and to live in Japan. Japanese government must stop deporting Jamal Sabri to Iran. Deporting Jamal Sabri to Iran is 
The court in general Sabri where he can be executed. As uh, you know, uh, Patty has been, you've been the coordinator of the international campaign to free Jamal. Um, uh, and on the 31st was the uh, international uh, sort of or global action in, in support of Jamal. Uh, that was an amazing speech, uh, uh, Patty, incidentally, Thank I you. should say. Um, uh, tell us about what's happened uh, globally in support of Jamal on 31st of uh, March. We had um, actually protests in several cities around the world. Um, in, in Canada, there was something in um, Vancouver and in Toronto. Um, there was, this is actually the Vancouver um, demonstration that you see there in front of the consulate in Canada. Um, we had also um, protests in, in Stockholm. Uh, you can see it there. I think it was quite a well attended uh, protest outside the um, the Stockholm embassy and actually two delegates went inside and first reports back are that, he, that they spoke to the ambassador, the Japanese ambassador, and I think he was very, um, how can I say, he was very sympathetic to the cause, but then let's see if this uh, translates into any kind of action. We also had um, demonstrations in Frankfurt, you can see Frankfurt there on the screen, which again some delegates talk to uh, Japanese diplomats, I haven't heard back yet what has been happening there and of course um, we had um, demonstrations in in Washington DC as well which yeah, was and, organized and three and three cities in Germany um, in yeah Bonn, in Berlin and, and Frankfurt and well. we, we had as well um, Washington DC which was organized by uh, Mission Free Iran the Washington based organization they're doing quite a bit uh, for Jamal as well and of course um, we had protests in in Tokyo Japan very exciting you can see them there it started 12 o'clock um, it was organized by human rights activists and friends and supporters of Jamal. Um, very well attended. Fashad Husseini reported from, um, from that protest. He actually attended it and he said they were, there were many journalists uh, reporting on the issue. And very, very um, excitingly also, there was a simultaneously um, a protest going on inside the detention center because what you can see there is the outside of the main detention center where Jamal is being held and what they are doing is um, they've coordinated the outside protest with detainees inside protesting That's against excellent. the barbaric yeah. um, Japanese uh, rules. Uh, immigration policy. Yeah. Um, the UN Special Representative was in, uh, in Tokyo for the first time to report on the uh, Japanese uh, immigration policy. Um, uh, tell us about that because we know that Farshad Hosseini, a special representative of the International Federation of Iranian Refugees, uh, uh, went to Japan and he took part in the press conference and he spoke to the UN representative. Tell us briefly yes, about he, that. Yes, he was, um, he could actually, you can see their pictures of the, um, of the press conference. He was actually uh, got time to speak and present Jamal's case. Um, Bustamante, Mr. Bustamante uh, from the UN, was uh, was impressed and wanted to know more, and um, they linked up afterwards. Jamal um, uh, Farshad Husseini was also interviewed by several journalists, actually, about Jamal, about the human rights situation in Iran, about Jamal's situation here. There was also um, there's also a retired professor in Japan who has actually uh, written a book on um, human rights of the refugees in Japan and Jamal features in it and he has given, this professor has given that book to Mr. Bustamante. So it has been a very, very good day for Fasha Hosseini, the Free Jamal campaign and for Jamal in Japan. Excellent. I think we'll, we'll, we'll keep reporting on Jamal's situation uh, in, in coming days. Um, and uh, so keep watching our, our program and um, hopefully we'll have him released and Japanese government needs to take notice of this campaign. Uh, this is the International TV and I'm Fadi Puya. I'm Patti Bonitas. And until next week, goodbye from both of us.